Hey there, folks. It's uh, 737, <laughs> 737 p.m. Friday, November 2nd, but that's in Cairo, uh, Cairo, Egypt. Um, I just put some stuff on top of the, uh, what you want to call it, uh, um, on top of the tablet. Uh, Deanna and I have been having all kinds of stuff go after us. Uh, it's 1.37 p.m., 59 degrees, Friday, November 2nd. Um, now that it is time for uh, for me to get out of here, that everything on the other side has gotten desperate. Uh, a couple of days ago, while I was doing a video talking about uh, waking up and everything, and about mentioned Raj, he's going to be a very big part of it. Um, then uh, <clears throat> they went crazy attacking him. Had two cars have a head-on collision right in front of him. Uh, then one of the cars rolled over the other one, almost hit his car anyway, the car he was in. Uh, he was in a cab. Why? Because a little while before this, uh, his nice Mercedes was T-boned. Hello. Um, that's one reason why I say the more you listen to what I've told you, the more, especially over time, and you see that actually being applied in your daily life, that's when you understand. Now, understand, I've been doing this. Understand, I'm having real issues, uh, which is wonderful. Almost out of here. Um, but I've had issues dealing with this stuff for years. The last eight years, I've been very awake and alive. And I see this stuff daily. And I am what I am. I am Ara, the primary focal point of Ara. There's no hurrah, there's no ooh, there's no nothing. That's what I am. A bulldozer's a bulldozer. It can do bull bulldozing things really good. A Ferrari can do other things really cool. I'm not a Ferrari, I'm a bulldozer. Um, <laughs> as I've gotten older, I have four terminal diseases in their terminal you know, phases, and uh, I'm going through hell here, and I'm almost as big as a bulldozer. So right now, that fits me really good. Um, and it's so funny that elephant energy has come into me this this very end of my very last life. Um, anyway, I'm not talking to make this about myself. I'm explaining things in my life so that you can relate to them any way you want to. Some people say, oh, he's all about himself. No, I want you to understand by my own personal life, Things I, I don't really feel like I have to go run and tell everyone, but it's important you understand. My last life, Gandhi, same thing. I opened myself up to everyone. Um, it's so that you'll see things for yourself in your own way, and you will gain that understanding that you need. Gotta do a little something here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh yeah. Happy coffee time. I drink a mixture of uh, coffee and tea. It's coffee and uh, chowa tea, which is incredible stuff. It's a little black package with uh, gold writing on it. It says Cho, C-H-O dash W-A-Y. Cho Wa T. You can get it on Amazon.com. That's where I buy it. It helps your inner, inner energy, yourself, your spirit, who you really are. It helps you relax as you flow through the body. You'll never see a commercial attached to any of these videos while I'm alive. Once I'm gone, who knows? Google might demand make it a rec prerequisite that you allow them. That's probably where something's going to go. Who knows? But uh, not while I'm here. And the most important videos Deanna has 
She's got like three copies of everything or more. So, three to five copies of everything. Uh, the DNA ICUC results. Um, the reason why that's not the testing and everything, the very last step is not being finished until I get out of here. Why? Because I'll make sure no one touches it. I'm going to make sure nobody messes with it. Uh, it's just like creating a head-on collision. <clears throat> By the way, nobody was hardly even hurt. But it was totally destroyed two cars. <clears throat> Excuse me, that happened right in front of Raj. Things, the other side controls this one, folks. Okay, if you don't understand it, can't accept it, whatever. That doesn't change the fact. <clears throat> Jay says, this is fact, that's fact. How does he know? You know, he doesn't know, blah, blah. Hey, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I tell you what it is, and you find out later for yourself. If you don't, fine. You want to bitch, moan, cuss me out? That's fine. But the more people listen, the more people understand, and the more stupid you seem. So. Then people start looking at you saying, Let's look at this person who says all this stuff that we know is nonsense. Why do they say it? What's the matter with them? Why are they so, you know, conceited or self-centered? Or what are they afraid of is what it usually is. Um, but anyway, um, enough of that. Um, when I um, opened up my new channel, and I think at the end of the first channel that I killed in my fight with Google... Um, the first one, the only one I've had, but it's the first channel. We used to have these coffee talks where I just sit down and talk about stuff on the other side. Uh, and people would listen. They'd see how they feel. They agree, understand, whatever they don't, that's cool. And then when they don't understand, they find out later. That's why I said that awakening video, people, if you will just download that and save it, make a second copy. And then when it's time you feel it's it's time let, let your kids read it it's not it's not a crank up but it does release energy inside you it helps relax you it pulls those energy blocks out of you that never should have been there they will put in there so that you could never become yourself and really come alive people say well we can clear your blocks man if you ain't me you can't get all those blocks out of there sorry that's a real strong source it's alpha male source from the original first being male. The male part of that God character that as he as he and she, the two parts of the what used to be the one, uh, gave you for a name. Just call us God, get on your knees and pray. Anyway, um <clears throat> not going there again. Don't need to, but the thing is, uh this information, it'll, it'll make more sense as you go along. Now, this right after this, there's a video. And when I heard about Raj and the day went by and I kept seeing more, and the more of me that's out of this body, but I'm still attached to this body, the matter I get. And Deanna saw that. At first she thought I was going to start bitching at her about something. Um, Deanna and I get screwed with all the time. Those of you that are source out there and or anyone that's involved in this scenario that you know the the scenario what I mean by that is this uh, getting ready to bring out this new awakening for everyone the the more aggressive you are in it the more you're being attacked and screwed with and spirit source can go down inside you and stay inside you and run you almost like a puppet and you'll never know you'll think you're doing what you want to and you're gonna say that feels good you can't help it there are laws about to be implemented as soon as I'm out of this body where if it does it, it gets told maybe once. If they're just really confused about lying to you, maybe twice. But whether it's the first time or the third time, the end result is going to be deletion if it continues. Some stuff you look at, you know it's not going to stop, you delete it. Next. Um... So anyway, this video coming, there's some harsh language. I was really getting upset. Uh, why am I showing you this? Um, I want to show you a little piece of what I went through in this life. 
the hell that I was going through. The the you can feel this is not it's not overly abusive, folks, but it is aggressive. I want you to know those of you that have children, you know, you're trying to censor what they watch. Please watch it first. If you have any concern, you know, don't watch it or watch it before you ever send it anywhere. But it's not it's not that nasty compared to stuff that's out there. It's it's clean, but for me, it's a little aggressive, a little nasty. Um, Cussed in it just a few times. I don't know, maybe three or something. I don't know. I'm not counting, and I, you know, I, I don't really care that much. Um, it's not overly abusive for YouTube standards, but whatever. The other side can still mess with that, like they mess with Raj. Um, they take out your own personal cards. Somebody runs a light and T-boned them. Just comes out of nowhere. Just. Bam! You know the driver just went literally went not just went like vacant in the brain. They were controlled. So, uh, and see the rule is they can't hurt the person, but they can destroy property. They can do anything that you know to screw with you. Now with me, twice, twice in in this uh, my fighting stuff on the other side, I woke up and the metatarsal bones on the top of my left foot were broken two different times. I don't, I don't even have a footboard on my bed, okay? There's no headboard, no footboard, uh, and it's a high-density foam mattress, so I don't, you know, no, sorry. Um, people can say, well, this can happen, that can happen, that, yeah, you know what, an elephant can fly out of your butt, okay? People, at a certain point, you have to have an open mind and just look, relax, Take a full breath, open up, and look, and see what makes sense to you, your gut. What does your gut basically tell you? Is that a possible yes or no? Okay, heart, how do you feel about it? And then head, what can you see regarding it? The more you do that, the more you learn that you have abilities you've never accessed, the more you take for a fact the truth that you are more than you ever thought you were and that you can make better decisions and you will. The more you do this, the more you trust yourself, the easier it is and the better decisions you make, the more you understand. The more you understand, the greater your wisdom. We take data, number eight, we consume it to understand it, number two, that goes on between the heart and the hypothalamus and then the collection, the greater the collection of our understandings, the greater our wisdom. Um, uh, data eights um, uh, understanding two and uh, uh, wisdom nine. Uh, anyway, so uh, this is calm. This video coming at the energy behind it is calm compared to what I've gone through. Uh, like I said, I've been tested by two different boards of psychiatrists for my sanity, and they all just like crap we have his records this guy's been doused with gasoline on a work accident just a freak work accident burnt alive 45 mile an hour head-on collision he gets out of the vehicle walks away he's hurting like hell for two years can't hardly even stand up straight i mean this guy has been through hell and yet he devotes his life to helping everyone else it's a fact you can see it in my bank statements um Besides doing my job, the one thing I want to leave everyone is an understanding of my compassion and my desire and my fortitude to help everyone everywhere and to make everything right. Okay? Um, the more the people that have been with me a long time, they know what I am. They understand. They can get, you know, some of the people that are sourced that were doing the crank ups at first. You know, a lot of them are mad at me, whatever. Hey, I love them, but screw them. Uh, screw, you know, what they're going through. A lot of them don't even know that they're being run. A lot of them are being messed with. Even if they're not being run, they're all being messed with. This will all stop soon. I know this for a fact because I'm going to do it. So, it's for me, it's not an issue. It's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't love them. It's just that it's not an issue. And for me to deal with it now is to make me stay here in the body longer. I got two more packages to send off. I am. Uh, I just spent uh, some <laughs> some money on markers. Deanne is so good about money and me. I'm just, uh, you know, I spend it maybe too easily. But I only get what I know I really want, except for certain things.
and then again it's really stuff I need it's just uh, my thought process of need is different than Deanna's but see that's really important because Deanna's taking all this moving forward uh, she deals with people on a different level she's supposed to She's going to be on a star on a Drock Starship Explorer class. If you want to give it a name like that, it's made to go literally anywhere. It's fast as hell. It has incredible armament. It has strong weaponry, and it's a Drock ship. This thing is incredible. She's got her own room in there. Um, anyway, uh, she, uh, eight years from now, she'll be off planet flying around. She just come back to visit every once in a while. She's made for that. I was meant to come out and talk with people. She doesn't want to do that, although she will be talking with people from time to time. But she's literally made to do that for the the, the job that she has. The, the, the easy for me to say. Um, the other side would screw with us. And you too. And, and it, where the buttheads will screw with you. And then the good guys take it, turn it around, and make something better of it the best they can. And then it goes back and forth. Um... It's insane. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all going to stop soon. So anyway, when you watch this video, try to understand. Oh, oh, wait a minute before I go there. Anyway, when you do watch the video, try to understand this is me letting off some steam. Feel the frustration, if you would, inside me. That's not made up. It's not showtime. I'm not an actor. I tell things as they are. I've told you I'm no important, no more important than a stick put in a piece of manure. I mean, how basic can I be about these things? I may be a little more explicit. I'm, I'm definitely more explicit than I need to be, but I do that for a reason to try to drive home the point of how I am about things. Some of the simplest people you're ever going to find anywhere in over, or in overalls, it doesn't mean they're dumb. But they're simple. You can be complex in thought, but you can be simple in how you do things. And when I say complex in thought, figuring out different angles of this way to do this and that, but actually this, the process itself is very simple. Um, so anyway, uh, everything's going to calm down and take off. There's people, there's going to, pretty soon there's going to be a lot of people, there'll be 24 people on this planet cranking people up So. Um, when I first get out of this body, Deanna will be doing a DNA ICUC, and then all of a sudden there's going to be more people coming in. It doesn't come from one person. It has to come from more. No one's going to ever make anything about one person again the way the original first being wanted to play God. That's not going to be allowed. It's not going to happen because it's false. It's not true. There's no honor. Um... But uh, you'll see as time goes on. So when you watch this video, it's important I put it out there for you. That's some of my aggression. That's what I care about. Feel my heart. Feel my fortitude. Feel my anger. Um, each day goes by, I'm closer to going home. Not just because I'm closer to that point as far as going, moving along a line. It's because I'm that sicker, that much sicker, and my head gets knocked down where I can't. I have times that if I were to try to stand up, I'd just fall on the floor. Um, and it's like that. It's going on 50% of the time now. So soon I will drop. Good. Work to do. Remember, your spirit, sentient energy in a body having a life that has value, meaning, and deserves honor, respect. Um, but uh, uh, that's all going to change anyway so anyway here's oh oh but I almost forgot again um, I always make jokes about the one thing I the one thing I do remember is that I always forget and it, you know I always try to be a little humorous and I don't do too good a job at it but uh, it's true um, again simple thing um these different fields of energy in your brain when I work on people's brains and see them now other people can crank you up they see things they're involved they can do a great job cranking you up okay and they will just let me get out of here okay um, 
I see all these things. Look, like it or not, I am the strongest thing there is. I was made to protect everything. And in order to protect, the first thing I have to do is to be able to see everything with it, with pinpoint accuracy. I pretty much do, although I'm, I'm fading right now. But as far as like the orc, pro, um, uh, the orc projections, the byproduct of certain frequencies, which is an ore, excuse me, I see them explicitly, colors and everything else. Now, the NNI spent a lot of money. We spent close to $5,000 uh, buying an ore machine working with it, playing with it. You know, it's real. It's so funny. Deanna touched me, uh, just touched my skin, and all of a sudden, it, boom, it went uh, like a, a high violet uh, purple uh, kind of thing. Uh, Deanna's very much like that. But the intensity of her energy is just ridiculous. Some of the colors are correct. Some of them are not. Uh, the sacral area, on like, you take it, see who... People took different frequencies from different sections of the body and they matched it with what they, what everyone thought was the colors that are representative of that area. Like the base chakra, they're literally showing that as red. No, it's not. The base has no red in it at all. Okay? Um, the heart produces red. That's it. The core can have uh, heart energy that's red going through it because the heart flows in and out of the core. But, uh, you know, part of the heart energy goes in and out of the core. The heart's uh, energy itself, the field, is embedded into the core. Uh, maybe an average of 25 to 20 to 35 percent. Different for everybody, okay? Um, coming out of the base chakra, you have... Uh, you have an orange, you have black, you have pink. Uh, you can have some white coming through there. I'm going to describe all this stuff later. Um, uh, there's a brown that goes through there too. And exact colors that come out of there are going to vary a little bit, but the base is actually the turning point where your, your core energy from up here to right below your butt is where that core, the spirit core is. What people would call a Kundalini. Back when there used to be two um, spirits in there, two snakes. Now there's everyone here on this planet only has one, including animals and everything else. Anyway, uh, uh, that uh, that's in one of the videos. I think it's in one of the books too. Those, those three books I wrote are very complete. Uh, I don't know how much money you've spent on things before. Um... But if you look at the amount of money that's involved in getting those three books, I don't, I can't, um, I don't know, it's under $150 for, for all the books. Um, uh, all four of the books, the three creation series and then a room book. Uh, the prices did go up just a little bit recently. That's because the publisher of Create Space literally folded off into a Kindle. It's all Amazon. Dot com. So um, they change, they do things differently, they uh, take more money and everything, so they're taking a little extra money from you, but that's, that's just how that is. Um, uh, there's so much information in there you never find anywhere else. Those spheres that are built here, other source people are going to build spheres, they're going to be kick, kick, excuse me, kick butt, whatever, kick ass, um, they're going to be real good. Uh, the ones that come from Dan and I, you're not going to find anything. You won't, I don't want to say this, but, um, so I won't, but you're not going to find, uh, let me just say, you're not going to find anything more powerful, okay? Let me leave it there. Uh, I am the strongest thing out there. That's why I know when I get home, everything's going to be fine. When you walk through a dark street and you don't fear anything, nothing, I fear nothing. Zero. I have zero fears. I'm aware of everything there is out there. And I'm the strongest thing there is. My power level is ridiculous. That's why I could do these things. And by the way, just because I'm telling you this, that I'm that strong, the only reason I do that is so you can have some kind of understanding that when I get out of here, it's going to be like I said. If you took all the energy, all the spirit together, everything that exists, all the, the other four new first beings, everything, you pile them all together, put them up against me, they lose. 
they lose. I was made like this. To, and the only reason I was made like this is to serve the original first ones. The original first being that had already made itself male and female. That doesn't make me better than nothing because I'm not. I was made this strong to serve and to protect. And I maintain that. That's my desire. Is to serve everything and give the best life existence possible and complete total protection to everything. That's all I care about. That's who I am. That's why I want you to understand some of my suffering, some of my screwy attitudes and everything else. I want you to know I'm like you. I was just made a little bit different because of the job, the purpose I was made for. That's all. There's nothing special about me. Am I special ops? Oh, hell yeah. Am I special better than something? No, I'm better than nothing. We're, we all came from the first being, but the fact that we exist, we're equal. As soon as you can understand and feel that, then life starts getting a lot easier, except that first, until I'm gone, the frustration is pretty strong because we're not treated equally. So, it's a sad thing. Um, for me, it's even sadder. I haven't done more about it. But, uh, here's coffee. Here's the new mornings for all of you. Having a good life, doing nothing but pursuing your own personal frequencies, having a life, doing what you want to do, and happiness. Okay? Now, there has to be strife in your lives. That's why you go in a body. You develop. As spirit, you develop. But uh, not this abuse. That's just flat out wrong. In the physical bodies, you, can, you have to get away from physical bodies to get away from abuse. And like I said, within 2,000 years, there will only be 10% of these bodies left. Uh, the earth might have a slightly higher percentage. And the reason why is, like I said, the Earth is what one of the four nastiest planets there is, as far as the abuse that's been get, that's been put on it. People see uh, a squirrel running around in the tree, and they say, "Oh, that's so cool!" You know, well, I think so too. But I look at a squirrel, and I see all the uh, the the fleas that it's infested with, the hunger trying to hide something, uh, caring about its young, the cats that are uh, waiting to kill it. Oh, we have some excitement down here, downstairs, Deanna. Talking with someone about delivery, I guess, probably the male lady. Anyway, um, so that's... Uh, That's what's going on. Uh, this, uh, um, it, it's when you can see this for yourself, you'll understand the sadness that I feel. Look at my anger, because I can't do what I need to do. I can't do what I was made to do. I'm not functioning as I should because I'm stuck in this body. I'd like you to take a moment and take that thought process and compare it with what you see. Now, also. Um, uh, stone energy, uh, the energy of different stones. I'm going to give Deanna as much as I can when I get out of this body. Um, whatever I haven't finished, I'll put it in her head. As soon as she looks at it, I'll already have it in there. So she'll be fed information directly from me. Will I be talking with others? Hell yes. Every one of them. Uh, am I going to be sitting in there with them all day long? No. As soon as they need me while well, I'll be there, yes. It's called the field. I'm already there. Um, these uh, different energy fields, the way they go through the brain and everything else, I'll give it to Deanna. She'll make it nice. She'll use the uh, uh, Photoshop. She's She knows how to do some basic stuff. Um, but I got an idea that she'll take a little more time later and learn more about actually how to use Photoshop to make uh, like some of the energy fields. I'm going to basically draw them out as they go through the brain and I have to do sections at a time. I have to, um, I'll take a picture of the brain and then I'll say, okay, this is the, this conduit, that conduit. And like, here's the mass part of the brain. Here's the, um, 
uh, pineal. Here's the pituitary. Um, there's the hypothalamus. I'll show energy conduits in one picture. Then in another picture, you're going to see the upper crown, the middle crown, then the uh, lower crown, the hypothalamus. You're going to see basic energy fields as, as they're seen as energy. They're going to be relative to the physical body, but you're going to see the energy fields. Folks, this stuff is nowhere. Nowhere. And the actual colors of the auras, I'm going to just add a little more to the uh, aura chart that I already have. Um, uh, that's in the book number three. Um, we had it somewhere uh, in one of the websites or something one time. I don't know, but we're going to we're going to fix that up. Um, uh, part of it's in a video, a DVD that we were selling, but we're stopping selling the DVDs and we're... Um, Dan is going to uh, sell everything with a download because it's just easier and, you know, it's cheaper. So, uh, so that, uh, that's basically what there is. I'm going to send my two packages off and I got to do a few videos for Deanna about the uh, Max uh, Metavision, Metaphysical Vision uh, Sphere, the Max Multidimensional uh, vision sphere of uh, some of the necklaces. I got to put that out. I'm going to take all of them and put it together for one video. And if you want to watch it, if, if you want to watch it, great. Um, it'll be there in one video. If you're not, then, then good. Just, you know, forget that video. Um, on the website, they're all going to be listed individually. Plus, I'll put it all together too. That's, that's at the Spiritual Foundation uh, website. Uh, on the other side, they've been getting crazy because the end of this body's life, the end of my time in a physical body is here. It's a short amount of time now. That doesn't mean seconds. But it's not much longer. I've been waiting. I've been saying this for a long time, but now we finally got here. So... Uh, So they're going nuts, and uh, everyone that you know doesn't matter if your source, uh, you know, they, uh, you're involved with this. They're going to mess with you. Uh, a real good friend of mine uh, was doing a consult with his, doing his first consult with somebody, and five hours later he's in the hospital, and he said, "Damn, Jay, I mean, you know, look at this crap." He said, "I looked on the other side and I saw it, and I said, who do you see?'" I said, Fem He said, "Female and a male." Then you know, said, yeah, he's right. Um, so they were trying to keep him from talking about anything other than praise Mother Father God that I was supposed to because there's a bunch of crap on the other side still wants to be called God and that's just not no it's wrong it's a lie and it's not going to happen creation is about to change to the way it should have been at the very beginning earth years well over 2.8 quadrillion Earth years ago. I mean, year, yeah, Earth years ago. That's how long spirits been going into physical bodies having lives. And it started with the primary Lily and I. So anyway, I, I realize my videos are long. Uh, it's important for me to do the best I can giving you information but also that includes giving you good rounded information uh, I always wanted to have these uh, town meetings where I could go places I did travel around and talk with small groups of people but I wanted people to give me questions and you know they basically just wanted to hear me speak um, even my last event that I had uh, September of 2015 the end of September I was honored by people coming from all over the world, spending thousands of dollars just to come see me. I kind of told them, I said, I don't mean to sound like I don't appreciate it, I do, but damn, man, what a chunk of money, what a waste of money just to see me. I said that twice, and they looked at me, and I was like, okay, I guess that was rude of me to say, but I, I said, you know what, thank you, and uh, I gave them something, you know, extra for, for doing that. They're not even aware of it. Um, anyway, uh, here's the video 
but I don't finish, Deanna will finish, and I will give her the energy fields where they are and how all that moves around. I can't tell you exactly when I'm going to get the hell out of this body when it drops for its final thud, but I can tell you that the next four or five days it's going to be very busy trying to get everything I need to finish putting together the rest of my time here. So whatever it is, uh, we're getting close to being done. So, uh, those of you that have good heart energy, when you watch this end of the video, uh, you'll understand what's going on. All these religions and everything are false. They were made to have you praise the original first being male and female. They never cared about you. Never. Not once. They never had a life, but they'd put you through nasty lives, abusing the hell out of you. But when that happened to Raj, because when I leave, just a little bit of time, and Raj is, when I leave, Raj is the uh, strongest uh, wo awoken uh, um, our energy here on the planet. He came from what I was originally. He is my brother, literally, literally. And he's powerful as hell. Very, very strong heart energy. Uh, he's awesome. So, every one of you are. You've never been allowed to know that. You've been put down. So the vast majority of you, that not all, but the vast majority of you that are here to work with this new beginning, have been given lives being told you suck. You know, you're no good. Your mom and dad giving you a hard time. That was so that they could keep you under the thumb. Okay. My uh, mom told me that I was a scum of the earth. Whenever she could get some words in there that my dad didn't hear. And my dad was always disappointed in me. So, if I got one B in the rest days, he was disappointed. I hit two home runs in one game as a kid playing baseball, and I didn't hit him in the right place. <laughs> so, uh, we've all gone through stupid stuff. Okay, How many of you have been doused with gasoline lit on fire? <laughs> um, all this is going to change. And the number 11, after I'm gone, give me a few months, the number 11 is going to have the meaning it should have. Is that there's something that will take care of you. And 111 is a big thing. Because it stands for male and female source and everything in the middle. When porpoise, dolphin, when a family moves through the water and they want to show themselves up when they jump, if you notice, the mom and dad are on the outside and then the children are in the inside. They protect them. They love them. That's what you're going to start having. Your older brother, your oldest brother, and your oldest sister looking out for you. And remember, when you in your natural state, the spirit, sentient energy, not when you're temporarily in a body and have life. And when you are, you're going to be more aware of what's going on. But in your natural state, you don't, there's no sleeping, there's no eating, there's no pain, suffering. You go everywhere, do whatever you want. The feeling of love, that that's what you have, it comes out. As you go by people, they feel it. These new bodies that you're going into, again, you can feel the coarseness of a tree like you can right now. You feel that bark and the coarseness of it, and you, as your fingers run over it, you can make a solid energy body where you feel that, and then re and then release this, the compression of it so it's more open and flowing, and then softly put your hand through the tree and feel the grain. You can feel the grain. The love that you have in your heart, you're going to feel that so strong. You're going to feel so sensitive. When you take a tuning fork, this is simple. I'm a simple person. If you take a tuning fork and just touch it, give it a little smack to some metal, don't bend it, just a little tap, and you hear that beautiful sound. You do it again, stick it in some oil or tar, and you pull it out. And That's what happens to you when you go in a body. You're not your normal self. You can't feel things. Well, folks, look, love you. Um, 
here's a video coming up but I want you to to have a heads up I get a little aggressive get a little dirty with the mouth not too bad um, and I hope those of you that do have some good heart energy that you can feel what's going on with me when that happens I want as many people as possible to understand me so that you know what I am which is going to help you understand what to expect out of me when I'm gone and I'm in my normal state again and I will I'll, I'm out of this body I'm I am in charge that's my job not by standing on anything by standing aside letting things happen and make corrections where you need to just like a janitor time to fix a, a door you go fix the door tighten up the doorknob um, clean up a, a, a spill on a floor nothing's beneath me nothing is above me we're all equal folks but let's just say we're under new management and it's not really management as long as you're not hurting anything you do what you want there's going to be almost no limitations to anything you want to do in or out of body so that doesn't mean you're going to manifest through want through desire you're going to manifest two mercedes a jet airplane no that's not going to happen ain't happening you have to have strife in life anyway so that you can develop a spirit but all this abuse stuff is gone so all this disease all that is leaving so anyway folks look love you here's the other video um if for every million people that watch me five of you can feel me and understand then this video was a success if one person understands then it was a success I'll be out of here soon and I'm gonna do my job nothing will stop me your life's about to become much better in and out of body your real life as spirit sentient energy is going to be so much better it will blow your mind so folks love you man and uh, you might get a kick out of the video hey there folks it's uh November 1st, 2018. Uh, I'm going to wait a while before playing this uh, video I just made. Uh, oh, I don't know. A couple hours ago. Uh, I want people to have time to watch the other videos and play with the energy and wake up before I go uh, releasing this one. Uh, this has some harsh language in it. It's not excessively abusive, but I try not to cuss at all. Compared to a lot of videos, it's it's very mild, but it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to give you the heads up on it. Uh, I am such a thing that I am a singularity no better nothing else I've always been aware of everything that exists everywhere outside and I've dealt with them and even when I'm in a body even when I'm hindered that bad my energy outside of my body I can do incredibly destructive things to energy to spirit sentient energy and energy too energy can be destroyed um, so anyway, uh, uh, it gets a little rough. I just want to give you the heads up if uh, before watching this, if uh, if um, this is aggressive for me, okay? And I did cuss a few times, so I don't know, maybe three times or something. I don't know, but it wasn't. You know, I just want to give you the heads up. So uh, if it's parents watching it, uh, please check it out before you. Um, let your children watch it and I'm aggressive very aggressive I'm fed up try for a moment to imagine being me 
try for a moment to imagine, those of you that are new coming in that don't know me, try to imagine for a moment being who I say I am, being able to do what I can, even though I've proven it. Your government agencies, the FBI, Homeland Security, they came to the front door knocking on NSA, they just came in, okay? Um, there's a reason why, okay? I can do what nothing else ever has been able to do in the body, but I'm aware of, I see and I understand everything that's out there and I deal with it in the second dimension. I do deal with it here, but I deal with it in the second dimension where it lives. I just can't control it. I can't do what I need to do over there until I'm out of this body and I'm getting really damn close. But I just want to give you the heads up, it's aggressive. But imagine being me, imagine being what I say I am, being able to do what I can do and having a deal uh, with what's out there. And then seeing everything happen. I've said before that when you wake up and become yourself, it's incredible, you never want to go back because all of a sudden you understand. And when we have new understandings, we don't want to give it back. We don't want to be ignorant. Ignorant is a very simple thing. Ignorance is a simple thing. Excuse me, it's, it's my heart's uh, messed up. It's completely innocent, okay? But when you refuse, when you find out and know better, and then you, re, you, you insist on acting ignorant, then that's just being stupid, okay? But anyway, uh, the thing is, once you wake up, you don't want to go back because even though there's problems, you can also see where there's a cure. Uh, in the military, they never could understand what the hell I was when I was in there. They, they didn't understand. I was unstoppable. You couldn't stop me. Um, uh, I got bored one time in a uh, war games, and I literally, after we took care of the other group, I took out my own company, the, all of them. It was just playing. Um, there's a part of me that's extremely aggressive, and you're going to see a little bit of it right now. It's not too bad. It's, I'm probably making it seem worse than it is, but I know that a lot of you have children uh, that listen to me. I know I've cranked them up. Um, and I do have nothing but love for everything. And that's the, it's the protection part of me and my fortitude and my power level that makes me like this when uh, people are being abused and I can't do a damn thing about it because I'm stuck in this body. My job is to protect and serve everything. Every one of you and a lot, everything there is. And I'm doing a pretty sorry job. I can't do anything until I get free, and that's why I'll never have another life. I don't need one anyway. Uh, folks, look, love you. Uh, here comes the video. I wanted to say this first. Uh, things are about to change in a big way. That's why I wanted everyone to wake up. I, you know, I, it's time anyway because you can, because nothing's able to stop you anymore. It's all dead. Everything on the other side that was doing that to you is dead now. Now there's just a few little suckers floating around okay but the big stuff it's all dead so I keep telling you don't worry about the big things politics and governments and stuff like that that's nothing that's nothing to deal with as soon as I'm gone you'll find out for yourself folks I love you man here's the video hey there folks it's 3 39 p.m. Thursday, November 1st, 2018. I was just talking with Raj. I mentioned him in the last video and a few other times. Um, who he is, he's a part of me. He came from me, but he's himself now. But he came from me. He used to be a part of me. I call him my brother, but he's more than that. <clears throat> and uh, he's been harassed by this garbage spirit on the other side. 
Uh, because when I'm out of here, he's the strongest uh, arrow that there is in charge to carry forward with what I'm doing. There'll be a lull, things will relax, and I'll, I'll take care of stuff as soon as I get home. Finish killing all the other trash on the other side. Just get to killing a lot of stuff over here, trash and body that needs to go, rip the spirit out, and kill it. Does that sound vicious? It should. What the hell do you think has been going on in your lives? Um, Raj had someone come out of nowhere. The poor person was literally made momentarily blind, just went, duh, again, energy going in through all the crowns, like I've told you all, and then just made her just go right in and just plow right into him and total his Mercedes, T-bone him. Uh, now what just happened... Uh, uh, yesterday, imagine that, right? I'm talking about him getting the video out. Uh, so he's in a cab and he's uh, going through town and uh, the cab in front of him was hit head on by someone who just ran ran a light, just went, again, went stupid. He just didn't know what happened. He, he's, I, I, he goes, I got no idea what happened. Um, and then when it hit the cab in front of him, when it hit him head on, then it rolled over to the side and uh, almost clipped his car. Now, that was literally a piece of Aramelius and a piece of Lydia doing everything they could to try to scare the hell out of Raj. You're not going to scare him. I know where he comes from. I know what he's made of. But that has really got me pissed. Um... Uh, myself, Michelle, and so many others. Once, once you've listened to what I say, you apply it and see things for yourself. It's not jumping on any damn bandwagon. It's just literally learning how to see and feel what's there, and then you find out for yourself. <clears throat> People talk about a loving God. Bullshit. Almighty God, Yewa. Uh, was it Yewa? Uh, the Jewish call it, or Allah, they're all full of shit. All that was was the original first being, male and female. And they sucked. That's why they're dead. That's why I killed the crap out of them. And then all the rest of the big stuff over there. I'm telling you, when you go home, you're not going to believe what the other side looks like. Because 92% of the spirit that was there, which was huge source, is now gone. Deleted. Dead. So now what you have over there, and I can't see everything over there. There's too many of them anyway. I'm still stuck in this body for the moment. They literally tear shit apart. They're just screwing with everything. They want to be the next god. Ain't happening. JC went that route. He doesn't exist anymore. He's dead. It's amazing how so many people will come, I'm going to stand up for Jesus and my God and Allah and Yewa. You know, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They can't see shit. They read something in a book, they think it's real. When I first woke up, started getting stronger, and then started having a fight with the original first being male and female and the constant lies. The original first being female... Okay, which is the thing people think of as God. It was the one doing stuff, making things happen in people's lives. She started lying, lying to me one thing after the other. I, was, I, I couldn't believe it. And she said, go down to this uh, good nutrition. Go down there and, uh, you know, I'll send someone to, to talk to you. And I'm like, I went ahead down there. And that's, you know, I said, I sat down and this, here comes a woman comes up and weird looking thing. And uh, I said, okay, that's an angel. And she sat down and started talking, you know, just saying one lie after the other. And I'm like, you know, what's your point? You know, she an angel just made a body. And uh, she said that, well, everyone lies. So don't worry about it. You know, it's part, of, it's part of it. So um, she said, you get used to it after a while. And I looked at her, you know, said, frack you. She said, well, I'm, I'll be hanging around here if you need me. I'm like, yeah, no, don't think so. So, you won't find her if you look for her. She ain't around. When something goes metaphysical, when someone comes out of a body, then that's when I have my abilities. So.
but that just infuriates me, especially people say, oh, praise almighty God, loving God and everything. Get your head out of your butt. There's no one controlling you anymore. Um, <laughs> why do you think the first angels are gone? Because they were liars, abusers. You know, they'd lie, abuse, do whatever they wanted. They, they literally did what, whatever the original verse being, male and female, wanted them to. They were servants. They didn't care. They never had a life. They never uh, um, had the opportunity to develop morals. The only two that were worth a damn were both protectors. Well, the one that people call Lucifer, but, you know, uh, uh, and we're friends, but my really good buddy, Michael, Archangel Michael. And he's just kind of, he's aware of things. He's staying out of the way, waiting for stuff to happen. But the, myself and others like me, that uh, some of them that are already awake and aware, when someone says praise God or, you know, thank you God for this and everything, and they, they, they're just like me, they want to puke. It's like if you could actually say anything, why would you praise God for what? Giving you a miserable life? Giving you disease? You ladies, how about your monthly little installment? You like that? Yeah. And God did that to Eve to fuck with her because she was a bitch that made Adam do something bad and eat the ant, you know, the apple. And I'm like, really? You know, if that story was true, which of course it's not, it's a total bunch of made up shit. Um, if, the, if the guy does it, he's responsible, right? If someone goes in and runs him, that's different. But if he does it on his own accord, then he needs to be responsible. And not his kids either. The most simplest thought process in the world is that if somebody, if something was worth your praise, it wouldn't want it, and it wouldn't allow it. How how more simple can I be to make this mass populace of uh, um, robots, people running around, stuck in the old way? Folks, there's nothing making you think that anymore. You need to wake the hell up. Damn. I know most of you that listen to me understand this already, but this is for everybody that comes. If I get out of here, I'll make sure those of you that don't believe this, watch it. I'll pop your bubble. I'm furious. I was downstairs just getting madder and madder after getting back from one of the doctors. I still have pain through the roof. I mean, I'm walking around on crutches. Uh, uh, there, there's no reason for me to be here. And I'm finally about done. I got two things to do I can do in two days. And I'm done. So one way or the other, I'm leaving here. And those of you that like picking on people, get ready for a telephone pole where you sit down. I'm sick of this shit. I am. How can anyone look at creation and not say it was built to be vicious and abusive? How can you? How dare you insinuate you're intelligent with any kind of an open mind, with any kind of a with any kind of a capacity for a true thought process to see what happens around you all day long and then come off and say, Praise God. I want to know how the hell your brain can come off with that. How do you do that? How can you make up shit? How can you make that up in your mind? People are suffering everywhere all day. So what, what do most people do? They say, praise God, because it's not me this time. Oh, that's nice. There's your compassion, right? Caring about everything else? Almost every damn single thing I've ever done any of my lives has been for other people. My last life sucked. People talk about Gandhi this, Gandhi that. You have no idea how pathetic that life was. What torture it was. How abusive, how disgusting it was. Wow, people can get an extra TV, a new phone, and uh, a vacation. And it's like, praise God, you know, it's like, for making this available to me. It like this, just, you know, lost. Um...
Those original angels are not there anymore. And they're being replaced with animal essence. As soon as this body said dead, as soon as I'm free of this damn flesh pit, then that's what it goes into effect immediately. Well, uh, let's just say less than 24 hours later. First thing I got to finish is doing going, just going over there and doing what I need to do. Totally deleting all the trash. People say it's coincidence. This happenstance. No, it's not. Anyway. Um, that's that. I do I do what I can to help everyone. I give of I give literally of myself. But I'm tired of this crap. People running around talking this bullshit, and here you have all the abuse going on even to them, and they blindly say, Praise God, though, you know, help me, God, you know, I, I know you caused that you're in control of everything, so you must have done this to me. You must have let it happen anyway. I'm sorry I'm so stupid. I don't understand the wonderful lesson you're trying to give me, but please take the lesson away. I mean, how do you, how do you come up with that? What form of insanity delivers that? Oh, Jason's saying no. No, actually, I put myself in harm's way, big time. A whole board of psychiatrists literally had the legal right, and I signed the paperwork to lock me up for a year in a mental institution. They said, you know, if you ever want to come by and talk, cool, but you know what? We don't need to see you again. We don't prescribe uh, any kind of therapy. We don't prescribe any kind of drugs. Have fun. Just, you know, the only thing we see that uh, with you is that you should spend more money on yourself. That's all he said. So many people so greedy want so much for themselves. Y'all, I know the majority of you watching this are not like that. But those people, they fracking disgust me. It's time for them to do without. Those people that want to hurt everything, it's time for them to feel the pain. It's time for others to see those people who were hurting others. To feel the pain. Wait and see what I don't bring you. Wait and see what happens. You think that you're literally listening to some tired old fat ass old man dying of four different diseases right now. That's what you think you see. You have no idea. You want to see what I am? Stare inside my eyes. Just look inside my eyes. Blink contest? Bring it on. I don't back down. Not from nothing. This creation was made wrong, it was made abusive, and it was made like that by something that was sick. It had too much negativity in it, from, that came from uh, additional uh, heavy uh, particulate matter coming into it. But hey, it had its chance, it had the opportunity to learn. But it kept abusing everything just to make itself happy. Well, they're dead, they're gone. As of May 2013, God's dead, both male and female, parts of the original first being that gave themselves that name to come out of your mouths. It's never been a God. It's never been a devil. You look around your neighborhood, you see a God, you see a devil, no, guess what? That's what's on the other side, you're just not in bodies. I knew that there was going to be, that this was going to be hell. Because when you were the only one that can see anything, or see everything, Everyone's going to think you're nuts. That's fine. I've done everything I can to prove it. Those of you who don't like it, tough crap, man. You can find a way to get over it or don't. I don't care. Um, those of you that want to hurt other people, get ready. Those of you abusing animals, get ready. Karma's coming. Karma's a bitch. Karma wears overalls. So... Wait and see what happens. There never was, never will be a God. But there is something that's stronger than anything else that will take control here very soon. <clears throat> it's time for change. It's time for people to have a nice life. It's time for there to be something around that actually looks after you and helps you where it can. Where you're free to have the kind of life you want to have. And have it without other people running around, stabbing you in the back, trying to crush you, 
take your house? No. No. When our ET friends come in here and start settling down, you're going to see everything change. The monetary system will be gone. Well, anyway, I'm getting out of here. I, I got to hurry and put this video up. But, uh, hey, what the hell, Little Rage, right? What the hell? For all you people that are thinking that, you might want to step back just a little bit and take a look at your thought process. Why do you think that? I'm not telling you what you have to think because that doesn't exist. But why would you think that? Why would you think there's any kind of loving God or wonderful, the, like these poor people these, that are just sucked into this bullshit called uh, uh, manifestation, the law of attraction? That's ridiculous. The universe wants me to have it. It's just not telling me how to get it. It gives me hints. It watches me get frustrated and go crazy and spend more money. And that makes it happy. So what the hell is this thing? If it did exist, which it doesn't. It's something that would be toying with you when it doesn't exist anyway. It's a, it's a pyramid scheme on a larger scale. Change is coming. I told you, Will. I told you it is, and it's almost here. So. I love you, man. I, I mean it. I'm tired of this shit. This planet, like I said, it's one of the four worst planets there is in all regards. It's beautiful, clean, guy is wonderful, but what happens on it is is pathetic. And it's nothing making it happen anymore. They're dead. So pretty soon, this body's dead, I'll be free, and then everything else is causing problems, they're dead. They're going, they're leaving. If you find this video disturbing... Number one, don't watch it again. Number two, tell people who you know that are friends of yours or your children or whatever that, you know, have a like mind. You might not want to watch this because Jay really got fired up on this one. And number three, um, maybe it's making you think. What's that? You thinking what you want and then being able to apply it in life? Free thought, free will. You've never had the free will you have now and just wait a few months. Folks, love you. Take care.